We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Yeah, but where's his office, though? Kitchen. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. I got you, fam. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Yeah, that. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Alright, I saved a man today. Upstairs? Yeah, there's, I don't see any stairs. Let me sneak by here. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in Dormitory B. Dormitory B? What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Oh. What state is he in now? You should go see for yourself, Doctor. Where's this goddamn office? Storage room. No. Surgical ward? No. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Ah, right. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're Jeez, going? Oh, what a bitch. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. Oh, but rest she's assured, expressive. I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. I'm gonna have to kill this bitch. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. She's one of those people that, like, gets really high and mighty because, like, they're really close to the person in charge, but really they have no authority whatsoever. Distract Donovan. But hair. Uh, I'm sorry. Everybody Bathroom. Says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Great. Gentlemen, may I help you? 
We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words. So we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. I'm, I'm literally about to... Alright. Who am I examining? It's a lady, huh? Haha, -ha, hello. Got a kidney Mrs. problem? Sanders? Oh. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Uh, enter the Riverside Institute as well as treatment follow a handwritten note. You recommend to take down her psychiatric wing in order to prove her with quiet and rest she needs. Um, no. Where's the lady with the kidney problems? Ah, oh, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Hmm. I guess I could let them know that she's saved. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. It is she's crazy. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Let me just go on, sneak on in here. Patients and hospital personnel wait, this is eat the, the same food. Whoops. Wait a minute, they're eating the same food as patients. Hang on, red light. Something's not going on here. Where's the boiler room? Ah. It's locked. The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. And with a goddamn key. Where would the key be? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Goddamn weeks, I tell you. falling over. That would be stupid. Don't tell me what to do, you fucking piece of shit. God, men. Oh, hello. Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. <laughs> I'm looking for the key to the boiler room. What for? To put it in its place. Perhaps I should do the same with you. Oh, shit. I beg your pardon? I suspect you of having a little too much fun at Elizabeth's expense. But be warned, it could easily be you they will all be laughing at tomorrow. You are right, Doctor. The, the, the key is in the dormitory office in, in Block B. You're right. Thank you. I shall go fetch it. Dormitory office, Block B. <laughs> block, block, block. Dormitory? Haha! -ha. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water. And hope Donovan takes the bait. I'm a medical professional. <coughs> hmm. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Tool, huh? 
course I'd need a tool. Why why wouldn't I be able to go out here and shut it with my goddamn bare hands? What kind of goddamn gosh fucking I don't I don't like these parts in games where it's like do this, but there's a thing in the way that you need to move, and then this thing needs to be moved too. But once you get through the door, it's not the last thing you need to do. This man, Edward Pierce. Oh shit, it's Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Uh oh. Alright, we need a tool, so storage room. What's this? That's a toilet. <laughs> Perfect. Find a tool. Found one. Ha ha ha. Am I right, lads? I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. <laughs> it's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Uh, it looks like the water Dr. shut Coden, off again. Might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Oh, she is going to get fucked up. Oh, she's not around, huh? At last. The missing files must be hidden here. Desk, surely. Desk, not not surely. Ship. Something is wrong with these masks. It's some sort of puzzle. Huh. I get you. I've unlocked that. something. Easy. Patient files. I was right. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. Locked. The Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. <laughs> 